Hello guys, uh, today I'll be teaching you how to create a flyer in Adobe InDesign. I have created a folder on the desktop here. Uh, for this chocolate, we'll be creating a flyer for the Cadbury. And I have gathered all the elements here from internet here. And this is the hero image. So let's just get started. I'll just close down all these images. I'll minimize this folder. And uh, go ahead and open up your design. Here I have opened up mine. Once you have opened up in design, create a new document by coming up to the main startup menu here, or you can also go on the top file new and create a new document from here as well. Then just uh, set the preset to be, to be leave as uh, to be left as default, and uh, set the intent to be print. And uh, check off the facing pages and let the page size to be set as A4 and hit OK. Once you have your canvas ready, uh, let's just go ahead and start first of all inserting the image in this, images in this document. Uh, to insert the image into the InDesign document, come up to the file menu on top. Go to file and click on place. You can navigate to the folder where you have saved your files. I have saved my files on the desktop here. This was the folder inside the Cadbury flyer folder. I am just going in and uh, let's just first place the hero image. Just double click on it. And once you do that, it will show you a small preview in the window of which image it is going to insert. Just click and drag anywhere on the just click on the canvas anyway and it will just paste, paste that image there. Once you have this pasted, now you can rearrange it by just clicking and dragging it. Like so, I will be arranging the image on the top of the page. And you can also resize it by first selecting the free transform tool from the toolbar on the left side. The shortcut key is E on the keyboard. Once you have this selected, just hold down shift and click and drag at the edges of the image and it will resize it diagonally proportionally once I have done that from the left side now I'm doing it from the right side once this is set you can just go ahead and click on the selection tool V is the shortcut key so once you have this image placed, uh, let's just place another image. Deselect the image by clicking on the canvas anyway. And go up to the file menu again. File, place. And uh, next thing you can do is, also you can, another way to do is, if you have multiple images to be inserted, and uh, you don't need to go ahead and always individually select them, you can just click and drag like so I'm selecting these three images all together now and just click on open it will show you in small, the small bracket that three images are to be inserted so just click and just click on the canvas anyway and it will insert the images one after the another uh, let's just click on once and see which image it um, uh, places here this is the one image so the next image I also am going to just place it Later we can rearrange them and this is the third image. So all three images we have placed on the document. Now just uh, let's rearrange them. Uh, let's just move this image out of the way. And uh, this logo also I'll just move it out of the way for now. And let's just resize the logo and place it at the bottom left corner. So I'll just click and drag here like so and again I'll uh, select my free transform tool uh, E is the shortcut key on the keyboard and click and drag by holding down shift at the edges of the image to resize it proportionally like this I'll place it here like so and let's do uh, the resize for the other images as well once you have done resizing of one image, just go ahead and click on the selection tool again and select on the canvas to be selected. 
and then click on another image and again come up to the free transform tool click and hold down shift and drag again drag me to resize the image proportionally like this I'm just placing it you know, placing it here for now let's rearrange them later on again do the same thing for the third image as well select your free transform tool and click and drag next thing we can do is get our text here but before that let's create a let's create a rectangle here in the middle and on top of that we'll place our text so to create a rectangle you have to come up to the toolbar here on the left side again M is the shortcut key on the keyboard once you have selected your rectangle tool just click and drag like this with the mouse on the canvas where you want to place your rectangle here I'll be placing it like this as across the page now you see it doesn't have any color fill but we'll fill it with the, the purple color of this color of this chocolate so to pick the color of this uh, chocolate bar you need to first uh, come up to the toolbar and click on your eyedropper tool I use the key, keyboard shortcut on the keyboard once you have your eyedropper tool selected click on the color of the chocolate the color you want to you want the rectangle to adapt once you just click on it you see how the color changes there you go this is how you uh, pick a color from an object once you have this selected uh, deselect the rectangle by just first selecting the selection tool on in the toolbar like this click on it and then uh, let's first of all go up to our projects folder and copy the text I'll just minimize the InDesign document for now I'm navigating to my projects folder once this is open I have here I have my text here in the notepad document ready let's let's first uh, select the paragraph text and copy once you have your text ready just uh, navigate to your InDesign document again and now deselect the rectangle by clicking on the canvas anyway and now select the text type tool in the toolbar on the left side T is the keyboard shortcut click on it and just click and drag on top of that purple rectangle we have just created I'll be inserting my text box there once you have your text box ready just paste the text I'll just right click and paste you right now the color is set to black now we'll just format the text now to format the text first of all just uh, click and select the whole text and a shortcut is command A if you're using Mac and Control A if you're using Windows PC once you have your text selected come up to the color menu here on the top the T it's uh, right now it's set to black click on it and from black I'll change the font color text color to white and I'll increase the font size from 12 to suppose 24 or probably 20 and I'll change the font type to suppose century gothic as century is the font I have here I am using this one century gothic and you can also increase the vertical spacing between the text it's just below the font size where we have set the font size just below it is the vertical spacing right now it is set to 24 you can just click on it and it will just increase like so if you click on the upper arrow or you can also select it from the list and type the number which suits you and you can also center the text by coming up to this align menu here it's right now it's aligned to left you can just click on align center 
then you can just reduce the font a bit I'll just reduce it to 18 and I'll hit and enter just before the word temptation I'm holding down shift and pressing enter or you can just press enter as well it will just do the same thing once this is done just deselect the text box by selection on the selection tool and clicking on the canvas and if you want to remove the guide and see how the document looks like just uh, hit W on the keyboard it will remove all the guides and it will show you the full image without any guides or lines so now once you have this selected uh, once you have this done and let's uh, insert the header text again come up to the notepad at the bottom where I have minimized it I'll just grab the headline text and copy it again I'm going back to the InDesign document I'll create a new text box this time the headline I'll be pressing on top of the image on the left side like so I've grabbed the type tool again and just clicking on it and just dragging it over the image once the text box is ready I'll be pasting the image by going up with it paste you can't see because it's black and it's too small let's just change the font size and color again by selecting all the text command A I have it on the keyboard and come up to the text color tool on on top and click on the white color like so and the fonts I'll be using for this will be I have one font called here Coco Goose it's a bit thick and bolder font so it will stand out better as the headline if you don't have that font you can use any one which is similar to this one I will be increasing the font size from 12 to say 32 or, and I can just keep, decrease it a bit I will just set it to 30 and I can just click on the selection tool and move down the header text a bit down like this so it's more against the black background so you can see the white text standing out once you have this ready just click out of the canvas by clicking clicking out, click out of the text box by clicking on the canvas anywhere outside once you have that deselected now let's grab uh, go to the text document again we have our last line here this we haven't hadn't selected once we have done again I'm going back to the InDesign document and I'll be creating a new text box here like so by grabbing the type tool and again I'm pasting it command V on the keyboard if you're using Windows and control V if you're using Mac control V if you're using Windows sorry and command V if you're using Mac once you have this selected let's change the color of this text to this purple again to do that you have to just select the whole text and come up uh, come up to the toolbar here on the left and select the eyedropper tool click on it and just click on this purple color and it will change the text color to that purple once you have done this, no it hasn't because it has taken the color of the white text box instead of the purple so just uh, hit undo and again I'm going to do that I'm going to just double click and select the whole text mm. other way you can do is just click on the eyedropper tool again and pick up that purple color from this object here and now it has set, now it has blue it has set to purple now the color is purple you can just increase the font a bit I'll be increasing from 12 to 22 and I'll be keeping the font as century as above century gothic which I used on the above paragraph text just decrease the fonts a bit and we can just bold this Cadbury's bubbly text I'll just click and drag on it and come up to the font menu on top and click on bold 
you can decrease the vertical spacing by again selecting the both text lines and clicking up to the vertical spacing section here on top from 30 I'll keep it to 24 now you can just click and drag this one on let's align it to the right side so just double click in the select the text box command a on the keyboard to select the whole text and come up to the aligning menu on top and click on align right once you have this selected once you have this done you can just zoom in and see if there is any spacing issues command minus command plus is the key on windows to zoom in and control plus if you are using windows and command plus if you are using mac you can see as you can see there's a white space between the image and the box you can just click and just click on the rectangle and I'll just shift it up a bit once you have this set you can just click on this image and let's just place it here probably and resize it a bit I'll again click on my free transform tool I'm just clicking on it and dragging it again diagonally so it will resize it proportionally here I'll be placing the image I'll just hit W to see the guidelines so you can see we can add it to this purple border just click and drag this text box to the left of it and I'll just click on resize this logo a bit again I'm selecting the free transform tool and resizing it diagonally once I have this done I'll just move it up a bit in the center and I'll just click on this chocolate images and I'll just move this to the side a bit and a bit to the bottom like so and this image also I'll just click on it and I'll just move it to the left so it aligns perfectly with the text above along the purple border once you have this done just uh, click on the canvas to deselect the text and images whatever you had been selected then just hit W to move the guidelines and command minus to zoom out if you want to just see the whole document you can click on command 0 if you are using Mac and control 0 if you are using Windows and it will center the image and it will show you the full view so there you go guys this is how you create a flare in Adobe InDesign just a simple way to create it and I hope you have uh, learned something from this tutorial you can always subscribe to my youtube channel and keep following for upcoming more video tutorials